Thanks, guys. I'm here with Liquid Steve and TSM Reginald. Let's give it up for them. Hey, guys. What a better way to start off the NALCS first game of the day than with the most hyped match of this week. Saw you guys hanging out with the fans outside. How excited are you for this matchup? Should start with you. Honestly, we go into every single season treating it the same. Not really that excited. I don't, I don't, I don't see TL's competition. You know, <laughs> they're always following in our footsteps. White and black, white and black. They used to be white and blue. You know. Uh, I, you're underestimating us because we're going to shit on you today. That's just what's going to happen. Now, originally, I was going to ask you guys what you think about your own rosters, but maybe I should ask you to judge each other's. <laughs> what do you, okay, what do you think of the new TSM lineup? I mean, if I'm going to, I'm going to be honest, you know, I think T, uh, Reggie put together a great roster for the season. It's really good, but ultimately, we won the off season, right? We put together an amazing roster, and I have really high expectations for the guys. I think that... Honestly, TL built a great roster. I think that they're going to come in really strong. They started practicing you know, two months before us because they really needed it. But, like, let's be honest. Every single season, TL... <laughs> every single season, TL goes into playoffs and they choke. They start off strong and they choke year after year after year after year. You can have the regular season matches, man. We're going to stomp you in playoffs. And even still, you might not even win today. It's not about past performance. It's about what is written next. And we're going to win. So that's it. Great words. Now, we heard the TSM fans cheering as they came in. Now, Steve, Liquid fans have had a rough past couple of seasons. Is this going to be the split that people can rep Team Liquid proudly? Absolutely. Yes, without a doubt. <laughs> How many people are being paid by Steve to sit here and chant TL? <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, Liquid! <laughs> He must be paying you guys a lot of money. Well, guys, this is already going to be a hyped up match. Is this going to potentially be a new rivalry for you guys? And with that, is there any bets placed on this match? No. no, no. I, I'm down to make bets in playoffs. I, I don't know about that, guys. I'm totally down to put a bet on this match, 100%. Let's hear some right bets. What should we do? What should we do? You want to lay it out right now? Let's lay it out right now. Yeah, let's lay it out. All right, how about uh, I raise you $5,000 to charity about the winner's choice? Let's, let's, let's make it $10,000. $10,000. Right. $10, and, and proceeds, and, and once we win, all the proceeds will go to City Year, which is right here in the front, on the front row. Right. How, about, how about we do $15,000, and the winners will go to the charity of my choice? <laughs> there you go. Done. Well, 15. 15 is done, yes. Let's do 15, and we'll agree on charity. Let's go. All right, let's do that. $15,000 to the charity of the winner's choice. Guys, thank you so much for this interview. Thanks, guys. Yes, I caught up with Coach Kane just moments ago, and he was very confident about his matchup today, saying that this team was going to win, that they were definitely going to win, and that everybody's kind of focused on getting revenge for double lift. The three members of the Immortal Squad aren't really focused on revenge for the finals, and Kane said that he wanted to win this for Peter. He wanted to win this one for double lift and that this roster had exceeded his expectations completely. They're very experienced and it showed in their scrims and he couldn't be more pleased with this roster. And when I asked him about going up against TSM, what the scariest thing about them was, he needed a translator for the rest of the interview. But here he replied with one word in English and it was nothing. We're going to go though. What is Mike Young going to play in his first game on TSM, the hover? And it's actually going to be the Shivana in the jungle. And I think this might be the first for, no, not the first for the little pro play. Had a couple plays before, but still. Champ cycle is over. The fans are ready. So are we. And the players loading into the game. The first game of the 2018 season for the North American LCS. TSM taking on Liquid. Let's get in the game. Back to the bot lane, a stun, and the headbutt backwards. Exhaust though, back on his van. They land the stun. The attack's still coming on through. He's gonna get more damage. A flash out from Ole, force him away. And the Rend is gonna come in and get some more damage across. 250 health left on this Taric, but out they go. Ooh, pretty bad trade there for the TSM bottom lane. As has three summoner spells expended just for the heal of Sven. And that is gonna open up Mike Gung. He knows that he has pressure bottom side. They've got a ward in the tri bush. They have even a control ward here on the. Uh, little pixel bush in the river, but because of that bottom lane trade, Smithy not going to spray the plant over the dragon here, and Mike Young will be extremely happy. If you get an early Drake free five minutes yeah. on Shivana, it is absolutely insane. 
Due to her passive, she gets free armor and magic resist for every break that they're able to take. And now he's going to get his early roam off there. So this is kind of cascading pressure from the blue stall up to the top side. Let's see if Hauntzer is going to see this one coming or not. No magic, no health on Hauntzer, but does dodge away from the first bit of damage. Flashes out of the slow beam. Here comes the E and R. The Nether Barrel's going to show up, and the Mouse Target making an easy combo. He's got no way out. Nullifying Orb means nothing. Fresh blood to Liquid. I love connecting the dots here. Smithy delays the blue, allows Pobelter to push his wave in fully on the mid turret. We'll see if there's any sort of contest. Well, Tarek Trister starting to come around a little bit. They are going to be first on the play. Mike, Mike very uh, low. Yeah, down a half HP. Cloud Rage with the highest single target damage. A stun goes in, but a nice rocket jump buffered properly by Double Lift gets himself out, but now no one's really around to stop. Crack is close, actually. Mike Young getting a bit he could get a kill. He would be close, <laughs> but no, this fight's going to come in in time. Double Drake picks up the TSM. And remember, they do have an Ocean Drake. Uh, right now, though, it looks like there's a collapse on bottom. A lot of damage. They know no ulti for Callista. Plenty of damage here. Exhaust. Here comes Gangplank as well. The flash board double also knock him back in and does so. Another pushback and double gets himself a kill. 2 0 to Liquid. As the chase continues, they're all going to turn in vulnerable thanks to Ole's ulti. The chase is on Mythia. 200 HP. Maybe a little oh. bit more. The flash to double stun. Huge plays out of the bot lane. Four kills to Liquid. Ole. Double stuns there. Smithy flashes in. Double lift flashes in. We'll take a look here as Rift Herald is summoned in the mid lane. And Team Liquid down. do reorientate. It's getting pretty low. Here comes the headbutt pull for Izonda. Two targets in the front line. No stun to be landed. But the turret scavenge means no defense left for TSM. The flash. Ulti into the back line. Looking for that kill. And they're likely to get it. Sven, not long for the world. He's going to fall down. Double getting revenge yet again in his X team. As Mike Young pops the hourglass. But has not a lot of time left to go. The stopwatch won't matter. Mike Young is down. Alistair's next up. King me, they say, looking for maybe the number five, but not just yet. Back to the mid lane, 2-2 two, two, turret, and Harold will survive to knock down yet another. Barrel chain shows up for a bit more damage. 7-0, 4-0 in turret. And even though they gave up the first two dragons, there's an infernal Drake for Team Liquid to grab on top of this giant lead that they've been able to approve for themselves. So it looks like Double Lift won't have to wait too long to get a little taste of that revenge against his former team because they are coming out swinging. So TSM are able to get back a turret. Breaks the shield, headbutt pulverizes in, and goodbye. Yeah, I don't think he's got a way out of that one. Pobalter drops to the ground. Bjergsen gets the first kill of TSM season. All right, here we Looks go, like though. Scuttle is going to be taken for TSM, and the threat on taking that Baron yep. is actually the Team Liquids. So Liquids, they're going to keep the, the wards where they are. We're going to go for Baron instead. If you look at the Drake, we'll do this one. They're going to pull the trigger. TP coming in, though. 4,000, 3,000. What happens? It's Mike Young right in the middle. He's going to get jumped on dead to Malzar. You have to believe it. Explosive cast push him away. And now there's no chance to steal. This will be a Baron secured. No problem. You've got to believe it. As soon as this fight comes in for Xpithy, that should be a minor miracle to take it away, and it won't happen. A kill plus the ground grab by Liquid. They made the right call. Ooh, that was definitely some miscommunication from TSM there. Right now, just staying with the Siege mid lane, starting to stack up soon enough. Mithy again, posturing the front side gets done. Here comes the big Terracle to divide some more time. Mithy's not going to have a good target to go for. Pulls back in. Ole suppression on the top side. They're going to knock down Hanser yet again. Another death for him. And it's going to be a kill on a Mythi as well. The Flash not going to get Sven just yet. He's cutting the back line, but still gets pulverized in the back. Gets a body slam to the face. And now he's still trying to kite away as everyone else staying alive. Bjergsen <laughs> gets across it, but does it really matter at this point as the team around him is dying. The turrets Woo! are falling. The structure's being destroyed. And under 30 minutes, Liquid going to shut down TSM in the first game of the split. And Dablip gets revenge on his old team. Off-season money well spent by Team Liquid as they take down the defending champions. Double Lift gets a little bit of his revenge. And they've got some early season success. And that's the new look of Team Liquid. One of the big super teams this year, power ranked by many, is the second, maybe third best team in North America. But right now in first place, giving maybe a single death, I think, to TSM, which is a great way to start your season. Definitely true. And look at that. They're definitely happy about the success that they had in that game. And honestly, it looked so smooth for them. Aside from, you know, the bottom lane composition there with the Shivana, the Kalista, and Alistar. Thanks, guys. I am here with Double Lift, victorious off of that win, beating Team Solo Mid. Now, you were very open going into this game. You wanted to take down TSM. And not only did you pretty much destroy them in the game, but you also raised $15,000 for City Year, charity of Team Liquid, straight out of Reggie's pocket. Is this win as satisfying as you thought it was gonna be? Wow, I didn't even know that, but um, yeah, that adds icing on the cake. <laughs>
Uh, honestly, yeah, it was, it was really satisfying. Um, I think it's really funny how Sven and Mithy say they're the gods of Europe and they're like the best in the West. And yeah, I don't know, it's just like, we just absolutely murdered them. And I just think it was a really fun game. You know, like we got to play our game and like any team I'm on, I, I just want us to be proactive and be aggressive. And I thought we really did a good job with that this game. Well, tell me about the new team dynamic on Team Liquid. You had your team that was ready to support you and help you in getting revenge on TSM. How does it compare to your other past teams? You know, I thought I might be alone on my quest here, but actually, um, because they have Song and we have three former Immortals players, they all want to beat their former coach too because he was pretty hard on them. So um, I think, yeah, this whole thing is, it's just been a wild ride. Like the last two weeks, it's been a lot of grinding and like just like so many back and forth like arguments discussions and, and like practice like late nights and it all paid off so i'm just i'm just really happy right now great well you took game one how are you going to ensure that you continue winning throughout the split starting with tomorrow's game versus optic Ooh, you know i actually don't really even know who's on optic <laughs> but um we're pretty focused on this match i i have no idea but i think um it'll be an easy match there you go.